Hey guys, Easy here, bringing to you 5 more tips for the popular new mobile game Danmachi Moria Freeze. Is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? Global version. In this video, I'll be discussing 5 must known tips that all players should know while playing Danmachi. Tip 1 is make sure you reroll until you are happy with what you get. For a lot of you who do not know what rerolling is, it means you start a new account over and over and over. Maybe you do one pull, maybe you do two pulls, but you pull until you are happy with what you start with. I know this is a really tedious thing to do as it's pretty unfun and it's really time consuming, but for a lot of people, if they're not happy with their initial start, like maybe they want an ice, maybe they want a La fire, maybe they want a bell, and they don't get those units specifically, subconsciously they'll never be happy playing the game. And they'll start losing the interest in the game quickly and continue to not have any fun. So maybe you spend a day or two rerolling until you're happy with what you start with. This is one of the biggest steps I can give to people who plan on staying free to play players, but if you plan on spending money to support the game, you don't have to listen to this step. Don't get me wrong, I support this game wholeheartedly and I'll spend money to continue to support developers and to keep the servers alive, but some people don't have that option that I do. So if you plan on staying free to play, I definitely recommend you reroll until you are happy with what you get. I know a few people right now who started the game with me and they didn't have a good start, so they basically uninstalled the game. I cannot stress this enough to people, if you're not happy with what you get initially, please just reroll until you get something that you're happy with. Okay, my second tip is save for Sunday. So all of the Falna quests are unlocked on Sundays and on Tuesday you get one Hero Charm replica. So if you save your Hero Charm replica and you save up a lot of the potato snacks you get from the duration of the week, you'll be able to farm for Hero Falnas. You get a lot of potato snacks from doing daily quests, from doing story quests, from doing Monsterphilia, or even doing the daily limited time quests. I recommend you save up a good amount of these potato snacks as you'll be able to use a lot of those potato snacks and your hero charm replica on Sunday to farm for hero farmers. You have a really good chance of getting more hero fauna drops if you just grind the quests when you have the charm on. That's why I recommend that you use your potato snacks and your charm on Sunday. My third tip is don't waste your stamina. So you get one full bar of stamina refill every time you level up and you get one stamina point every 3 minutes. So I recommend you don't let your extra stamina you get from leveling go to waste. Try to use up all of it or some of it so your stamina bar can start refilling or you'll just be letting your free stamina go to waste. So our fourth tip is don't waste your iris. It costs 10 iris to refill your stamina bar. It costs 10 iris to revive your units when they die in a quest and it costs 10 irids to get back your 5 tickets in arena. But I don't think this is really smart to do as you can simply just wait to get all those things. You can wait to get your stamina bar back, you can wait to get your arena tickets back and you can retreat from a quest, strengthen your units and come back and do that quest without wasting your 10 iris. I recommend you just save your iris to do gacha pulls because that's more important in my opinion. Don't waste your iris on such unnecessary things, especially as a free to play player, you would not want to waste your iris on doing things like that because we already have a limited amount of iris we can get and farming iris is pretty time consuming. But if you spend money in the game, again you don't have to follow this step as you will have enough iris to do otherwise. So our fifth, final and most important tip is just have fun. Don't rush through the game's content, don't try to clear all the game's content right now. Don't try to do everything at once, don't try to finish all the events now. Take your time with the game, don't rush through the game because you'll get burnt out of the game. If you play the game 24-7 a day, then eventually you just get burnt out and not want to play anymore. Take your time playing the game. Read the character's story, try to, try to relate with them. You know, do some fun things, don't just try to rush all the game's content in one day. And now it's barely two weeks into the game and you're bored and you have nothing to do. Just have fun with the game. The game has a, has a long way to go. And the more you take your time with the game and the more you enjoy the game is the more you'll want to keep playing the game. I'll leave my ID number up on screen for anyone that wishes to add me in game. If you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel for more content. Thank you guys for watching and do have a wonderful day.